Welcome back to Lipids in Biochemistry. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. In, the, in this video, we're going to talk about unsaturated fatty acids and also look at how they differ from saturated fatty acids. So if you haven't seen the video on saturated fatty acids, go back and watch that. It should be in this playlist. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to go ahead and draw one of our, I'm going to draw one of our fatty acids. Okay, I'm going to draw a saturated fatty acid. All right. So let me actually draw, I'm going to draw stearic acid. Now stearic acid has 18 carbons and it is a saturated fatty acid. This is position one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so this is carbon number 18. And the name of this is, oops, excuse me, that's not right. The name of this is stearic acid, 18 carbons, stearic acid. If I said palmitic acid before, I'm sorry, I meant to draw stearic acid, 18 carbons. We talked about the nomenclature for naming that in the last video. How would we name this? So we look at the number of carbons is 18. We put a colon, and the next number is the number of carbon-carbon double, double bonds. Well, there's no carbon-carbon double bonds, so this is a zero. And then this would be the abbreviated form of stearic acid. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to draw a different fatty acid, but this one's going to be unsaturated. Now, we mentioned what saturated means is all of these carbon atoms, and let me show you which ones I'm talking about. All of the carbon atoms, get this tool, all of the carbon atoms from here to here, they're all saturated with hydrogens. That's what saturated means. Another way of saying that, exactly the same way, but from a different perspective, is there's no carbon-carbon double bonds. In other words, all the carbon-carbon bonds here are single bonds, okay, by definition. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a slightly different fatty acid. I'm going to draw the unsatur or unsaturated form of this. So this is still position one right there, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is position 18. Now this is no longer stearic acid. This fatty acid is unsaturated and it's termed oleic acid. It's termed oleic acid, all right? And I want to figure out what the abbreviated name of this is. For stearic acid, which was saturated, it was 18 colon zero. So let's do the same thing. For oleic acid, the first number is still the number of carbon atoms. 18. But this next number, recall, was the total number of carbon-carbon double bonds. So how many are there? Well, there's just one right here, so that's a one. Now, this, you may say, well, this is all I need, right? No, because if you had a, an, if you had still had one with 18 carbons, but maybe this double bond was shifted to the left, maybe it was between carbons four and five, it would no longer be oleic acid. So I also need to know exactly where this double bond is. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to count from carbon one over to see the first position right here. I'm always looking at the first position I encounter the double bond from the carboxyl. And I want to figure out what carbon atom that is. So this is position one. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the carbon that I first encountered the double bond at is position nine. All right, position nine. One rule of thumb for most of the fatty acids you're gonna to have to draw that are unsaturated, it's very common for the double bond to be hit at position nine first. So what am I gonna do from there? Well, when I wanna in indicate a double bond, I put the Greek symbol delta, and then as a superscript on the delta, I'm going to indicate each position where I first hit the double bond. In this case, it's carbon nine. So that's gonna, I'm gonna put a superscript of a nine there. And this is the, probably the most common way to indicate that, just like this, okay? You'll see here, there's a little bit of a different form right here. They put, oops, that was not meant to do that, 18 colon one and then C delta nine. You can also do that. Um, the way I just did it right here was the way I was taught to do it, so I'm going to stick with that. And usually this is the way you see it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another unsaturated fatty acid, but this time I'm going to put two double bonds in. All right. So there's that. This is position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. 
So again, this is position 18 right here, and this is still position 1. Now, this is no longer stearic acid or oleic acid because now it has two double bonds. In fact, this fatty acid is called linoleic acid. I should have done that in purple, but I think we get the point. That's linoleic acid. Well, how many carbon atoms does it have total? Well, it still has 18. And then how many carbon-carbon double, double bonds does it have? Well, it clearly has two. So it's 18 colon 2. And then I want to figure out where, the, where I encounter those double bonds starting from position 1. So let's do that. I'm looking at this position and this position right there, the ones on the double bonds closest to the carboxyl. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember this number. 10, 11, and 12. And I really don't care about the others. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put delta superscript 9, comma, 12. And this nomenclature right there tells you exactly what fatty acid it is. And you should be able to take this abbreviation and then draw it. Okay, that's an important thing. And now I'm going to do one more that also has 18 carbons. So let me draw that. Here's the carboxyl. This is position 1. So let's do this. 1. Oops, let me get rid of that. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, I don't need to do that. Okay. This fatty acid right here also has 18 carbons, and it has a different name. It's no longer any of these because it has an extra unsaturation. This is called, it's very similar to this name. You have to watch out. It's linolenic, not linoleic, linolenic. Notice this extra N right there, linolenic acid. How many carbon atoms does it have? It has 18. How many carbon-carbon double bonds does it have? It has 1, 2, 3. And now I need to quantify where the double bonds are. So I'm looking at the positions on each double bond closest to the carboxyl. That's this one, this one, and this one. So starting from position 1, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, remember the 9. This is 12, 13, 14, remember the 12, 15, and then I don't care about the others. So I would need to put in here that these double bonds are encountered from the carboxyl at 9, 12, 15. Now here's an interesting rule with unsaturated fatty acids, and depending on the length of the chain, you can actually have up to, you can even have five or six double bonds. But here's a general rule that's really interesting, I find. For any one of these unsaturated fatty acids that's considered polyunsaturated, which just means there's more than one double bond. In fact, if I'm referring to this one right here, it's unsaturated, but it only has one double bond. So this you would call a monounsaturated fatty acid. Okay? For any fatty acid that has more than one double bond, like these two, and there could be more, these would be given the term poly un, polyunsaturated fatty acid. So when you look at a nutrition label and it says monounsaturated or polyunsaturated, molecularly this is what they mean. They're talking about the number of double bonds. And the rule is for polyunsaturated fatty acids, so in other words, greater than, greater than or equal to two double bonds, okay, you look at the first number here, where, which you put, it's usually a 9 for these, and you'll notice that it just increases by 3 every time. What's 9 plus 3? 9 plus 3 is 12. Look at this one. 9 plus 3 is 12, and then 12 plus 3 is 15. So usually that number tends to increase by 3 every time. Okay. There's another one here that has 20 carbons. This one we're not going to draw right now. This is called arachidonic acid. Notice that in this case it doesn't start at position 9, instead 5. But look at, the, look at the spacing. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 3 is 14. So the tendency is to have fatty acids that their double bonds, the position you encounter them at, increases by 3 each time. To where you should be given a structure that looks something like this something like this, and they can be really, really long depending on you know the number of double bonds. So they're going to look something like this, and hopefully you see that in these last two, okay, linoleic and linolenic acid, all right? But hopefully this gives you a very um, 
detailed look at how you would draw them, how you would name them, and some of their properties. Okay, Join us in the next video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos and notifications. Thank you.